Welcome back queens, it's Queen of Queen She Me and I have my first natural hair tutorial of 2017 and it is my first attempt at a braid out but as you guys can see it was a fail but yet and still I want to share the results with you guys and also explain to you what to do to achieve the desired results. So without further ado we're going to go right on ahead into this braid out tutorial. Okay, so first we're simply going to remove our elastic headband. As you guys can see, it's very stretched out. And I'm going to massage my scalp using the Allocate Naturals Essential 17 Hair Growth Oil. As you guys have seen in my previous videos before 2017, this is from my December Curl Kit. And I just shake that up to mix all of the ingredients inside the bottle. And then I just squeeze a good amount all over my scalp. And then what you want to do is to take the balls of your fingers, like pretty much the pads, and then just gently massage your scalp so that way you can help to stimulate blood flow to the scalp to help promote hair growth, which is what we are wanting. So I primarily do this typically when I get ready to go to bed or in the morning. So once we've massaged our scalp using our Essential 17 Hair Growth Oil, I'm just simply going to make a part down the middle of my hair. And as you guys can see, I'm using my fingernails to make the part. I actually got my nails done this time. And then we're just gonna take a butterfly hair clamp. I got these from Dollar Tree for a dollar and I'm just gonna clamp that section away. And so in the back, I'm just going to make one section. They don't have to be perfect, but you wanna make sure that you have a good amount of hair in each section. So that way you can braid each section evenly. So now that I have my hair in the back in two separate sections, we're gonna to move to the front and we're gonna divide that section into two individual sections. And you'll see I'm going to tuck this section away with my butterfly hair clamp and we're going to work on the section that's left out. So my hair in this video you guys is about three to five days old and I'm just going to take my spray bottle with water and just lightly mist my hair to add some kind of hydration back into it because products alone don't give you that necessary hydration. So I'm going to use my Sephora wide tooth comb. It was $8, you guys, so and it was really worth it. I've had this thing and I love it. So we're going to be using the Allocane Naturals Wake Me Up Curl Refresher. And this is my first time using it. Again, it was in my December curl kit, you guys, and it smells so good. It smells like strawberries in a bottle. Everything from the Allocate Naturals line really does smell like a tropical paradise. So I really and truly enjoy that part. So now we're going to use the Dolce Hydrating Curl Lotion from Allocate Naturals. And you guys, I think I should have just stopped here with applying the actual styling products because I found out that with braid outs, you actually don't need to use a whole lot of product to actually get the definition that you need. So we're just gonna massage this into the remaining section. And you guys, it was storming that night, so that's why the lights went in and out. But I followed this using the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And I will leave a card up above you guys because I actually have a full review and demo of this actual product. And we're going to work this in as well. But again, like I stated, I think I should have either used the um, hydration lotion and or the curl enhancing smoothie. So we're just going to take this section and evenly divide it into three smaller sections. And once you've done that, you just simply begin to create your braid or plait. And you just want to make sure that you're smoothing the hair down along the way. And also too, you want to ensure that you're braiding pretty tightly to get the definition that you will be seeking the following day once you actually take down your braids. So when you get near the end of the braid, you actually want to create a two strand twist or use a perm rod to ensure you have that definition. And so this is what my first little janky braid looks like, you guys. When I got towards the back, they were so much better. So um, 
I just pretty much repeated the same steps as far as applying the product but again I would not use a styling lotion and a styling cream because it's just too much product on the actual hair itself to ensure that it's going to dry in a timely manner and so again you're just going to make sure that each section is divided evenly into three smaller sections and then you just simply begin creating your braid and again you just want to make sure that you have enough um tension on the braid to actually make sure that you're going to get the definition the following morning. So this is what the next braid looks like you guys and again when I got towards the back they look so much better. So once you've braided up each section, you guys, this is what it's going to look like. I have my Felicia braids going on. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you definitely saw this post. <laughs> it was just funny. I had to post it. So yeah, you just want to make sure that your hair dries in a very timely manner so that way you can get that definition that you're seeking. So let's go ahead and go on to bed, you guys. And then this is the following morning. So at first sight, after you know waking up and everything, getting ready, I was like, oh, my hair is dry, it looks good. It's like, I was just excited. I was like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be a bomb, you know, braid out or whatever. And so this is pretty much what it looks like. And my hair looks very hydrated and very, you know, shiny, and it just looks moisturized. So I'm going to use my Marula Nature Marula Oil, and you can pick that up at your local salads, you guys. It's very inexpensive. It's a lightweight oil and it really does give your hair that nice shine, um, especially when you're taking down like any kind of braid outs or twist outs. It will definitely give you that banging sheen that you're looking for. So when taking down your braid, you just want to make sure that you take your time because again, you do not want to disturb the actual curl pattern, you know, or the braid pattern, I should say, because you're wanting to keep that definition for when you actually go and separate your hair further. So this is what my hair looks like, you guys. Oh my gosh, it was a big ass fail. I was so disappointed. I almost cried, like literally. That's just how distraught I was because I've never experienced this before. And I knew that my hair was only about 65 to 75% dry, especially when I got to the back to take the hair down. So I was just so disappointed, but Again, like I stated earlier in the video, you guys, you just wanna make sure that you don't apply too much styling product. I think that was the key, and you want to make sure that you dry your hair in enough time. So, as you can see in the front, I always have my definition. I never have that problem, but it looks really nice, so I can just only imagine what it would've looked like if my hair was fully dry. And I've come to the conclusion that I will be doing a second attempt of the braid out for you guys. It may not be this month, but it may be next month. I'm not quite sure, but I want to come to you guys with a actual, you know, winning braid out tutorial. So definitely stay tuned for that. But it was fun doing it because I really wanted to try something new. 2017, I promised myself I would venture out more into different hairstyles. And this again is reminding me why in 2016 I did it because I hate a failed look. I just hate that because you put so much time into it. So I pretty much attempted to save the style and I'm just gonna take a couple of bobby pins to kind of pin my bang pin my bangs down because in the front they'll tend to shrink up sometimes and I don't like that so that's what you'll see me doing here so yeah you guys this is pretty much it for my braid out tutorial for January 2017 I hope you guys enjoyed it please leave your tips down below in the comment section also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and definitely make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell button next to it so you can receive a notification when I upload new content thank you so much for watching my king and queens and I'll see you guys in my next upload be blessed